Hey buddies, welcome back to the channel and you're watching iphonetopics.com. Recently, a lot of people are frustrated when they try to connect the sidecar with their iPad and Mac. They found an error message like device timed out. Somehow, I found some solutions and suggestions to get rid of that problem. Come, let's move on to the video. Solution number 1, reset location and privacy settings on iPad. Guys, many of them tried and applied the solution to solve the sidecar issue on the iPad. So you can also try this one and get rid of your problem. For that, launch settings on your iPad and tap on general. Then click the reset option. Now, select the reset location and privacy settings. Enter the passcode if asked and again tap on the reset option to confirm the action. That's it. Solution number 2, reset all settings on iPad. You know what guys, lots of people complained that they have tried many solutions and that all went in vain, but after trying the solution, they have been very happy and also told this solution has solved their problem. So you can also try this one and see the reaction. So go to settings, tap on general and you can see the reset option, just give a click. There you can see the reset all settings, select that one. Now enter the passcode if prompted, again tap on reset to confirm the action. That's it. Solution number 3. Uninstall the remote mouse software on iPad and Mac. Guys, sometimes remote mouse software is also the reason for the problem that happens because it may run the software in the background without a knowledge. So kindly uninstall the remote mouse software on both iPad and Mac. It will surely fix the issue on your iPad. So try this one. Select the remote mouse app in the application. Then drag the remote mouse app to the trash. That's it. Solution number four, enable the handoff option in both iPad and Mac. Guys, first make sure that the handoff option is enabled on both your iPad and Mac. Okay, for that first on iPad, launch settings and then tap on general. There you can see the AirPlay and handoff option. Just give a click. Next, make sure that the handoff option is enabled. If not, then enable the handoff option. That's it. Now I'll say how to do it on Mac. Okay, first go to the Apple menu and then select system preferences. There you can see the general option. Just give a click. Now you can see the allow handoff between this Mac and your iCloud devices, which is at the bottom. It is here. Make sure that is enabled. If it is not, then turn it on. That's it. Guys, this is the simple method to fix the issue on your iPad. And if you know any other solutions, then pin me in the comment section below because we'll pin the work solutions at the top because others may get useful by that. And if you really like this video, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe to iphonetopics.com and tap on the bell icon so that you'll be notified when we post a new video. Bye-bye.